my name's Andy and I'm an arborist. Uh, I love climbing trees. Oh, I've been climbing trees ever since we were kids but um, then slowly got into taking them down and then finally got some gear and been doing that for a few years now and uh, do it pretty often, uh, pretty full time this last year. Why we came to this tree I guess was we knew there was redwoods here so these are Sequoia sempervirens, tallest tree in the world at the moment which the tallest tree at the moment in the world is about 115 metres in California. And so we believe this is probably one of the tallest ones of its type in Australia. So I always got my eyes peeled for sequoia trees. Well, I'm always looking out for trees, but I was driving down the main road here one day and could see through the, through the bush, I could see tops of sequoias. My, my eyes were peeled for them and I thought, mate, they look big. We got here, I think, about in the afternoon, around two or three, I think, in the other. I'm down, walk down the, from the top, the our gear and set up, ready and excited for a, a good climb and have fun in, right, right in the midst of nature and God's beautiful creation and yeah, it was awesome. It's a beautiful place, tucked away, and just so much beauty here and just an epic tree. And um, just started setting up and heading up to the top and it was unreal. Um, and then getting down when we were at the top, took in the view, took some selfies with Tim, Josh and Harry. We started our descent and Tim and Harry went down first and um, then Josh went and I was telling Josh to make sure that um, his rope didn't run out because doing double, double line, um, you, your rope, you only get half the length of your rope pretty much. So uh, I, was, I was telling him to make sure he didn't go too far down so that his rope ran out of his device and um, he went crashing down. So I um, kept telling him, make sure you don't let that happen. And he had that definitely on his mind, making sure it wasn't going to happen. And so he was just chilling out for me a few metres down while I was finishing up at the top. And then um, I started coming down. And we had two different lines, but I helped him. Um, we went down a fair bit together. Then I helped him redo his line so you, you pull your rope out and then you set it back up again on, a, on another branch so we can keep going down and, and get the length to go to the bottom. And I don't know, it's like in my brain I must have just, I just must have thought that I've, I've done it for Josh, I've done it. But I hadn't done it for myself yet. Um, I started coming down, I must have got close to running out of my rope but then I went back up again just to, just to look for a bit of um, equipment the chicane that we were looking for that Harry come off his harness up there when he was setting up. So I went back up and was having fun. I just wanted to be up there forever. <laughs> so beautiful. Loved hanging out up there and the boys kept telling me to hurry up and get down and I was like, oh man, it's so nice. I just wanted to keep swinging around. Finally I decided to come down Coming and down. Um, all three of the other guys were on the bottom. Harry had told me, you know, get some, get some nice footage coming down. She's coming down descending, just get some nice footage of the branches, and, you know. So that's what I was doing and um, obviously not paying much attention. It had just never entered my mind again that about the rope situation because I'd done it for Josh. And, and then, yeah, next thing I knew, I was fanging past branches and free falling. <laughs> and then the next thing I knew, <laughs> hitting the ground real hard on my back. Call the, call the ambulance. Don't move him too much, Josh. Don't move him too much. I just my back. The, my ribs. <sighs> Can you move your toes? Yeah, dude, it's my nice. <laughs> Ah, uh, hang on. Uh.
Uh, Move your fingers. I'm fine. Uh, just my ribs. <laughs> They're gonna be ruined. Uh, and on my right side. <sighs> so hard to breathe. <laughs> I was so th thankful to be alive, I guess, when I hit the ground. But um, then when I realised I could move my arms and my legs, my back wasn't broken, I, I was pretty grateful and um, yeah, thankful for, for God for, for sparing me, I guess, and only so much more since, since it's happened. Um, considering what usually happens for people that have fallen that far, or even, even half that distance, or even a couple of metres, um, people can be pretty messed up. But yeah, I found the spot where I was on the video and yeah, came down and it just looks like an incredible long way down. Yeah, being, being back up there and just seeing how, how high up it was, it was just scary, yeah, thinking, thinking about coming down from that height. Even just, just to start just to there was a long way down. But um, yeah, it's just amazing to think how you look through that pathway where I came down, no um, big branches to hit, I could have smacked and broken other things and spun and hit off other things, but there's just a clear path. Didn't hit any any big branch um, all the way 20 metres down, and you can see how many branches are up there, just like straight down, and then to look at that spot again where I landed. Um, it's just, yeah, it just uh, confirms the miracle what had happened. I uh, shouldn't be, I shouldn't be alive, um, let alone be able to walk. And I'm just so, so grateful that I'm God spared me, the angels were with us that day and just either softened my fall, slowed me down or I don't know but just to come away with just five broken ribs and a vertebrae and a broken pinky is amazing. Yeah, so blessed. <laughs> so blessed. Many, O oh Lord my God, are thy wonderful works which thou hast done and thy thoughts which are to us word they cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. <laughs>